What is this? The mother love. What's up guys, we're back with an insane video. This was sent in by a viewer to open for him. I'm gonna show you guys what the mother load is. But first, I have an announcement. Tomorrow, today is Tuesday, so tomorrow, Wednesday, 5 p.m. Central, I will be opening a first edition Pharaoh Servant booster box on whatnot. And wait, that's not, that's not all. How about a two? First edition Pharaoh Servant Booster Boxes. These are both first edition. We have the 24 and the 36 pack box. That's 60 Pharaoh Servant first edition packs on whatnot. It's going to be crazy. So if you guys want a chance to win the Genzo, to get an Imperial Order, get a Buster Blade, or get a Thousand Eyes Restraint, get any of the Super Rares, all that stuff, that will be on whatnot tomorrow. It is going to be absolutely crazy. Genzo just sold on eBay for $12,500 according to the best offer. We will see if that's a real sale or not. So yeah, that's pretty insane. This is going to be a pretty epic opening. 60 Pharaoh Servant Packs in the same live stream. So go check that out tomorrow, guys. Follow me on whatnot down in the description. It's going to be pretty awesome. Let's get into the mother load. We have a little, um, it's a package note kind of thing, giveaway and Ruxin's pack. So we'll see what that is. Thank you. I can't read it, but I assume it says thank you as well from Kaz. So let's see what Kaz sent us. These are all his packs that we're going to be opening up. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. We have, okay. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what exactly is in here. So inside we have, I believe there's a promo card in here. I don't know what it is. Should we open it or not? I'm not sure. Wait, let's see if there's a, a no. Okay, here's the giveaways. So I guess these are my packs, which is really cool. 20th anniversary legendary dragons, legendary monsters, 20th anniversary secret selection, prismatic special pack. Oh my goodness, this looks fun. I think we're going to save this for, these for a different video though, but thank you very much, Cats, because there's so much fire already in the mother load. I don't think we need to open these. Now let's see. Um, there's a giveaway. So he sent us a giveaway for you guys. Let's see what you guys can win. Ooh, it's a good one too. Oh, wow. A gold rare God card set. What set is that? I don't even know. I mean, it's obviously not an English set. I believe it's Japanese. That is, yeah, JP. Japanese gold rare God card set. And check that out. It's like millennium rare gold. Yeah, that'd be nice if our Millennium Rares look like this. <clears throat> yeah, but okay, let's not talk about that. That's really, really nice. Very cool. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know what you think about the mother load, the opening. It's going to be a good one. I can guarantee you that. And finally, it's time to reveal this. It's actually going to be really hard to show because you guys know how binders are, but I'm going to do my best. Let's go like this. Let's see if I can just give you guys a quick glimpse. Champion Packs. Inside, we have Champion Pack 3. It's going to be really tough to see three i believe that's four five 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 this is six down here i'm gonna probably take all these out but i'm gonna give you guys a quick glimpse while they're still in here champion pack six champion pack eight i mean some of these i've never opened we got the turbo packs wow this is gonna be crazy guys this is just a quick glimpse before we get into the opening we're opening all of these oh my goodness yeah okay yeah that's crazy that's insane let me just flip through them real quick so we can then we can get started but oh my goodness turbo pack eight Astral Packs are in here. We got Astral Pack 1, Astral Packs 3, what is this, 7, 4? I can't even tell. 6, okay, there we go, 6. And then we got some OTS Packs. Oh my goodness, talk about a mother load. All right, we got everything out of the binder and got it in order. It took a lot longer than I thought. This is already 15 minutes into the video, so it's probably like two minutes in for you guys. But let's get into this opening. This is insane, guys. I, I can't even show all of them on the screen, but basically we're going to give a rundown of some of the tournament packs, what the difference is before we get started. OTS, this is, you can't see it over here, but that's the newest form of tournament pack. They're still making them. I think they're on OTS 16 right now. So there's 16 different sets of OTS. Then there's Astral, which was the previous series. The series before OTS were all one through eight, and then they would stop and go to the next one. Then OTS for some reason is on 16. For the opening, we have some one and some three. So the sets Astral one and Astral three. Then we have Turbo Pack, which came before Astral Pack. We have a lot of the Turbo Packs. We have two, three, four, five, seven, and eight. So one and six are actually the very best because you can pull Dark Arm Dragon and Judgment Dragon. So that's probably why we don't have those. They're really, really hard to get, but still really cool to have these. Then Champion Pack was the series before that. We have one, three, one, four. Then we have a few five, some six, and some eight. I've never actually opened eight, so that's pretty cool. And before that was the regular old tournament packs, like the OGs with like Needleworm, Morphine Jar, stuff like that. So we have everything but the original, so it's going to be pretty cool. 
All this stuff, like the champion packs are from like 2005 though. So those are crazy rare. So let's start this thing. This is going to be a long video. Grab your popcorn. Most of them, I think they all have three cards. So they're a little bit shorter in terms of the actual opening part, but there's so many packs. There's a lot of potential in here. I hope you guys uh, are excited. Get your popcorn, kick your feet up. Let's go. Let's see what we can get for Kaz. He sent these in to be opened, which is so awesome. Great content. I'm really excited about it. So we have a TG Cyber Magician. And a Reprodocus. So some of these like OTS will have a hollow every pack. And the ratios are a little bit different. I think it's 1 in 16 to 17 to get an ultimate rare. And some of these don't have ultimate rares. We'll, we'll go through it as we go through. I think Astral, I think it's a little bit worse to get an ultimate rare. There's only, th oh, there's three. There's three ultimate rares per set for Astral packs and three per OTS. And then Turbo, there was only one per set. One ultimate rare. So if you hit it, you hit pretty big. Okay, let's go into this Astral pack. Is this seven? What did I say it was? No, three. Astro Pack three. Here we go. We have an Imprisoned Queen Archfiend. And a Serene Psychic Witch. We have a Super Rare. I can't... I, do you get a Super Rare every time? I can't remember. I guess we'll find out. Uh, we're going to sleeve it up just in case. I'm not sure if you get one every time or not. Turbo Pack, I know you do not get a Super Rare every time. So, Turbo Pack eight. I don't know if I've opened this one up either. The Mustard Color. I can't remember what's in here because I don't think I've opened it. Oh, right off the bat, we have a rare Alligator Sword. That's a pretty cool card. Gemini Imps and really Eternal Rest. So yeah, you don't get a foil every time in these Turbo Packs. I'm going to go through a little bit. Uh, we, the most we have is Turbo Pack 5. We have a ton of those. And uh, so hopefully we will get an ultimate rare. The goal today is just, I don't know where he got these. I don't know if he got them loose or what. Um, so our goal is to pull something epic. Okay, we have a rare right off the bat. Lightning Warrior, Serpent Knight Dragon. Herald of the Orange Light is probably worth something. I think it's like $7 in Crossroads of Chaos. I think it's in Crossroads of Chaos. Uh, or maybe it's Duelist Genesis. I can't remember. So I'm going to sleeve that up. That's probably pretty good. Okay, let's go to uh, Turbo Pack 5. We have a ton of these. So I might do like two or three of these every time we get to this one. So make sure we don't get, you know, we're down to just only Turbo Pack 5. Okay, Royal Command. We've got a Miracle Fusion. And a Torrential Tribute. Pretty cool. Pretty cool to see. These are all like reprint packs. But they were like epic reprints because they would have some really cool like foils or ultimate rare upgrades and stuff like that. Let's see. And you got them at the, uh, you know, playing at your local tournament was usually how you would get these dark Nis Neosphere, seven tools. And a Cyber Eltonin. Very nice. I, I Turbo Pack 5, we have opened some of this. I can't remember what the ultimate rare is though. Maybe we will pull it so we don't have to remember. <laughs> Spirit of the Six Samurai with Black Salvo. And the Zoma the Spirit. Okay. So we know for three there, but we got more to come. Turbo 4, I know I have not opened this with this. I mean, we've opened everything once in the every pack opening. Say that every time, but that's, you know, one pack doesn't do, do much. Usually the fours are the ones with crazy stuff in them. So I, maybe this one does. I'm not sure. Because OTS 4 and Astro 4 are insanely hard to find. We've got a Watt Kid, Key Mace. And a Psychic Commander. I guess the original tournament pack 4 wasn't that crazy. CPO 4 is pretty good. It's not crazy either. So I guess it started uh, in Astro, really. I don't remember what, I don't know what's in the turbo though. We'll find out hopefully. Here is a turbo pack three. Gladiator Beast War Chariot, not bad. We got a DD, pretty good pack. Annex Saber, Ragagura. All right, not a bad pack, not a bad pack. Turbo pack two, oh, I don't remember this one either. Ah, uh, we might have opened this one either. Well, I hopefully we'll pull an ultimate rare we've never pulled before. Only one in the entire set though. So I don't, I think you got maybe one to two per box of a hundred, I'm not sure. Necro Valley, pretty good. Thomas Action Unit. And a Gravekeeper Spear Soldier. So some great, a lot of Gravekeeper action there. Okay, this one's going to be pretty cool. Champion Pack 8. I think Lumen is in here as a, either a Super. I think it's a Super. And the Supers are really expensive from Champion Pack, guys. So uh, if we pulled like a Lumina, that'd be insane. Okay, we've got a Rare right off the bat. We've got a Herald of Creation, regular Rare. We've got a Miracle, Miraculous Rebirth, and Alien Warrior. Okay, so... If we do pull something big, you know, hopefully it'll happen out of champion pack. All right, back to OTS. We're going to save some of those big champion packs toward more of the end. We're going to go around to, you know, some of the, early, the, the mo earlier, more recent ones. Sorry. Morphine Jar. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think you do get a super every time, but Morphine Jar is still a pretty good one. I think it's worth a couple. I just threw a uh, sleeve everywhere. Okay, nice. Okay. Astral Pack 3. Let's try this one again. What can we pull? And you gotta be really careful right here. All right, Jog and the Spiritual. So we got a Vampire, 
And a Wall of Thorns. It seems like you do get a super rare every time. I think you do Wall of Thorns. Very nice super rare. Still going to sleeve it up, though. All right, Astral 1. What was in Astral 1? I feel like Astral 1 was kind of disappointing for being, you know, the one set. Flame Veil, Fire Dog. Another super rare. And a... Uh, Furikazan. Furikazan. These, uh, opening these ones with a guaranteed super rare every three cards is a nightmare for editing. I'm just gonna let you guys know. When I'm putting up the prices, it's like a price every two seconds. I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> it's killer. Ready for intercepting. Okay, just a regular rare. We are hoping that we hit something cool out of these turbos and champions soon because you're not guaranteed to get a super. So hopefully we will. Tail swipe. We have the ratio though, because usually. Champion packs is 1 out of 12 to get a super, 1 out of 48 for an ultra. Turbos are a little better, I think. It doesn't tell you the actual the exact ratio, so I can't remember, like, off the top of my head what they are. Here's a 5. We got a super... A shield crush. And a puppet plant. Not a super. Okay. Can we get a super, an ultra, or an ultimate? We will take them. Actually, they might not even have ultras. Maybe it's supers and ultimates. Is that how that worked? I can't remember. Wolf, Light Sworn Beast. Okay, we get some Light Sworn cards. Another five. Let's try another Turbo Five because we have a lot of them. Black Salvo. We get a Spirit and a Torrential Tribute again. Once again, thanks to Kaz uh, just for sending these in for just an epic video. And I get to open these up, which is a lot of fun. So uh, thanks again. Hopefully we can get him something good. So far, we have not pulled anything too exciting. But uh, these tournament packs often have rough ratios. So, just pulling anything is pretty nice. White Hole, that's an original TP1 card. That was a super in the original TP1. And Dark Hole, in the same pack. And a Swallow Flip, our favorite Swallow. All right. Turbo Pack 3. This one has the Caius inside. And Caius is now like $250. When we were opening these, Caius was like $50. Or maybe even less. And now it's like $250 or something like that. Fault Troll, which is just nuts. I mean, guys, that is so much for even one card, you know. We've seen a lot more expensive cards, but still now... $250 for one card is crazy, you know? Gaiku, that's nice. And a Saber Slash, okay, okay. Let's go into a Turbo 2. I have no idea how long this video is right now because of how long the intro, like, or like just taking all these out took. So I don't know how long this is gonna be. Anti-Spell, we got a Mausoleum. And a My Body as a Shield. I'm hoping that, hopefully he didn't buy them like all loose and then like they're scaled or something. Um, there's, a, yeah, of course, a chance for that, but I hope it doesn't happen. Necro Guard, no, we got the Alien Mother and Beckoning Light. You really never know, you know. We haven't opened a six yet. Let's go into a six. And it's hard to get these, so. There's a lot of packs here, so, you know, if some of them are legit, then we should get something. Oh, Elemental Hero Stratos. That's a good rare. Oh, there's four cards in here. This is an error pack. Error pack, I don't know if you guys see that. Three cards per pack. If you guys can do a little counting for me. One, two, three, four. That's four cards. We got a double amplifier. Error pack, guys. Time to put error in the title. Let's go. <laughs> we'll need maybe if we get another uh, error pack, we'll, we'll you know get a little crazy. But that's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. We'll save the rest of these champion packs. We're gonna go back around. Wow, <laughs> there's so many packs left. So many packs left. Fusion substitute. Super poly. Pretty good one. Okay, so these OTS nines. It's a pretty solid set. I mean, there's a lot of good cards in there. Morphing jar, super poly. We're doing pretty good. Astral Pack 3, here we go. There's also a Stratos Ultimate Rare in there. So we got the Stratos Rare. Can we get the Ultimate Rare in the OTS 9? That'd be pretty crazy. We pulled a few of them. Um, we pulled a few of them when I was uh, opening that. Okay, we got a Polynosis. Very nice. Super rare. All right, let's go into the Astral 1. We've got a Hidden Armory Super Rare Close Forest. What does that remind me of? I can't remember. And the ice heads. That reminds me of something. That eyeball. Hidden Armory. Super rare. Very good. Very good. Turbo Pack 8. Can we get something higher rarity, guys? And the answer is no. Magicians Unite. This is an ultra rare in Turbo... I mean, in Champion 3, I think. There's a Fire Dog, so we got that in a super rare. It's funny how you see, like, they progress. Like, if they were an ultra rare before, now they're a rare. If they're a rare before, they might be, like, a super or whatever. It's interesting. Um, how they're in a, a lot of the different sets. So we've got a Turbo 7. And we have a Gear Town. That's not a bad one. Herald of the Orange Light. That is a very not bad one. One of the best pulls so far, honestly. So, so far, nothing higher rarity. But we still have a long way to go, guys. Hit that like button for luck for Kaz. Here we go. Make sure to subscribe. Because we are getting close to that 90k. 100k, we're going to go crazy. Do some epic stuff. Here we go. Zoma Spirit. Alright, Zoma the Spirit. 
Let's go into another booster pack five. We have a shield crush. Wolf White Swarm Beast. Very nice. All right, come on, come on. Give us a super, give us an ultra, or an ulti, or whatever, whatever's available. Escape from the Dark Dimension. Very nice, very nice. All right. Turbo Pack 4. Come on. Can we get something good? You gotta believe, guys. We've got a Watt Kid. A Bark of Dark Ruler. Classic. That's from LOD, I think. Pretty cool. Booster Pack 3. What can we get? Quacky Mirror Dragon. Destiny Hero Diamond Dude. XX Saber. Ragagool. We have a Turbo 2. Let's see what we got. Gravekeeper's Commander. Anti-Spell. And a Mist Archfiend. All right. We are on a heck of a cold streak. All right, come on. Can we get something? Ooh, a Silent Magician Level 4. That's a cool one. Vanity's Ruler is not a bad card. And Cell Explosion Virus. Let's try a 6. Let's see if that can uh, switch it up for us. We have a Call of Darkness. That's a cool card. Demon Nightmare. And Sentinel of the Seas, I think, is actually like $3. I think I remember this one. So let's sleep that one up. I mean, $3 is $3. Not bad. Back to OTS. We need something. We need an ultimate rare. We need a ghost. I'm just kidding. There's no ghost rares. Imperial Order. We've got a number 107. And a Sekka's Light super rare. All right. A Sekka's Light. Okay. Let's try Astro Pack 3, guys. We need that. We need you guys to send us the luck. We have had a few openings start where they're really bad, and then we make an amazing comeback. But right now, this one is not starting so hot. We have a Wall of Thorns again. So it's a bunch of guaranteed supers or rares. So we haven't hit anything really exciting yet. So we're hoping that's just because of the luck of the draw and the poor pull rates. We will see Gen X Undyne, Dragon's Ice, and Spiritual Forest. So Gen X Undyne is a cool super rare. All right, Gen X's. I mean, uh, not the most exciting archetype, but I do remember uh, winning a mini Duel Links tournament with those once. I, that happened. That did happen. I used to, you know, actually duel a little bit. Maybe one day we'll duel. All right, we've got a Ready for Intercepting, Gemini Amps, and a Magical Circle. On to Turbo Pack 7. I think, what is this? What is, I think the ultimate rare is uh, Catister, uh, Ally of Justice, Catastor, or Catister, however you say that. We've got a big evolution pill, Gogipon, and Kotodama. That's a classic card. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Maybe five is the uh, the other one. The, is it Colossus, maybe? Is that an ultimate rare? We got Escape from the Dark Dimension. Okay, let's go with uh, Turbo Pack 5. What can we get here? Seven tools. Zome of the Spirit for like the seventh time or something. Let's try one more of these. Come on, we got to hit some eventually. Let's go, guys. Black Salvo. Wolf White Swarm Beast. Okay, not, not a great start. Not a great start, but that's why we have a lot of packs, right? All right. I hope that's what that means, that we pull something good. White Hole, we got the Amazonas. Swallow Flip, okay. Hasn't been good to us so far. We just need something. We just need something good. It's always just exciting when you pull one of something. Oh, Magical Android and Nobleman of Crossout. It's always exciting just to pull something from these old uh, Turbo and Tournament packs and stuff like that. It's just so hard to get foils. And um, even if they are legit. So, Magical Android again, okay. Let's go to a Turbo 2. Turbo 2, we have not hit really anything yet, so I'm a little bit worried for him. I hope that, you know, he didn't get scammed or something. Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, because um, that's no fun. You know, it's happened to us before. Champion Pack 8, we've got a, oh, we got a rare. Great Shogun Xian, cool. Alien Mother and Beckoning Light, cool. Let's try a 6. Champion Pack 6. A Mage Power. That's a cool card. Sentinel again. Okay, Cold Wave's not bad either. Let's get the uh, Sentinel sleeved up. It's a pretty good card. Or not, I mean, it's not good, but, you know, it's worth a little bit. Okay, back to the OTS. It's really been the Old Faithful. It's gotten us a few things, you know, some decent stuff. Maybe we'll get an Ultimate Rare and really make up for it. TG. And a Personal Spoofing. I think it's an okay card. I don't know the, like, value or anything, but I think it's okay. Astral Pack 3. Come on, guys. Give, give us some luck in the comments. Kaz needs some luck. He needs to pull some fire. Okay, let's go like this. All right, very nice. We've got a vampire dragon and a spellbook library of the crescent. That's a, that's a mouthful. Spellbook library. All right, turbo pack. Back to turbo pack. Come on, we got to go and match. We got to get something, guys. Turbo pack seven. Come on. 
Tail swipe. Very unfortunate. Okay, let's go to Turbo Pack 5. If we hit one thing, I can calm down. We just need to hit one thing. Mind you, okay, that's pretty good. I mean, that's not what I'm talking about. It's a common, but it's a good common. Very good common. All right, next one. Turbo Pack 5. We have another Manju, pretty good, pretty good, back-to-back -back Manju. So the commons are, uh, there's a lot of good commons in these sets, you know, because they reprint some good commons, or good cards in the common slot. So it's often a decent place to get some cheaper, cheaper versions, but they end up being somewhat, you know, pricey because they're good cards and they're, um, you know, pretty easy to obtain. But not come, they're harder to, ob I don't know what I'm trying to say here. They're easy to obtain they're here, but they're hard to obtain out of their original set or whatever. I don't know. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. I don't either. But, uh, yeah. Manju is always like three bucks, basically. Cyber Elliton. Booster four. This one, these flaps are like already undone on this, which is kind of weird. Um, so, I don't know. I'm not trying to say these are like resealed or anything, but... I, I'm not feeling too good right now because we are we are through a, I mean we're through a lot of packs. We should have hit something probably by now, but you never know. What kid? Moki Moki and end of a new Moki Moki is a lot of times worth something. I don't know if this one is, but I'm gonna pull it out. All right, Turbo Pack three. Come on. We got a DD Crow, very nice, and a Gladiator Retiari. So the commons are really carrying this opening because there's not much else. Okay, let's go into another three. Yeah, DD Crow is... I remember pulling a ton of DD Crows out of here. Saber Slash. Let's go into a Turbo 2. Okay. Very nice. Let's see. What's in Turbo 2? I can't even remember. Autonomous Action Unit. Magical Stone Excavation. That was in Champion Pack 2. It was an Ultra Rare. So it, uh, it made it to the next two. Let's go into a Champion Pack 8. We have a Necro Gardener once again. And a Neospatian Dark Panther. Let's go into a six. Wow, guys. Absolutely nothing. This is actually, this card's worth a few bucks. The uh, Helios Duo Magistus. Okay. OTS 9. Oh, we got a long way to go, but it's not looking pretty. We got a card destruction. It's not a bad card. Pretty uh, awesome throwback to the original. Uh, one of the original star decks was SDY, I think. Astral 3, here we go. I'm assuming these all didn't come from the same place, which is why I still have some hope. Like, if some of them are, like, scaled or something, um, maybe some of them aren't. Some of the other ones aren't. But um, with these kind of packs, it's 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 pretty tough to get them, like, unweighed. So, Kagamusha the Six Samurai. Just because there was only a few foils in the entire set, you know. So e even if they weren't weighed, you like pulled a couple foils and then just you know get rid of the other packs as you know sell them as normal packs. Then some people might think they're unweighed or whatever. Okay, we've got a goes and match yet again and a Flameville Fire Dog. Okay, it's not looking too good, ladies and gentlemen. We are a long way into this video. We have yet to pull anything with Koto Dama. I'm a little bit scared, but I don't I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we can pull something. Maybe it will happen. Come on, Mother Load. We believe in you. Torrential Tribute again. We have pulled a lot of those. We have pulled a lot of Torrentials, so that's good for the goat decks at least. <laughs> Got a lot of goat extra goat torrentials. Wow, there's still a lot of turbo fives. Come on, turbo five. If anything's gonna help us out, it's gonna be turbo five. Abyss and Wolf. All right, on to a Turbo 4, guys. Come on. Key Mace. I feel like Key Mace might actually be worth something, too. I'm going to check it. All right, Turbo Pack 3. Come on. We got to get cast on the Cloak and Dagger. We got to Saber Slash. All right, it's been, it's been pretty rough. Let's go another one of these. Because that stack is looking a little tall compared to the others. Kwaki Miro Drago, we got a DD Crow, very nice. Okay, okay, okay. Turbo Pack 2. Come on, Turbo Pack 2. Come on, somebody. Just somebody do something. Alright, we got a Gravekeeper, Spear Soldier. One of these Turbo Packs is Rescue Cat Super Rare, too, which is like $80. So that's a good one as well. We got another Silent Magician and Mushroom. Mushroom Man! I mean, that's a cool card. Mushroom Man, that's pretty awesome. Champion 6. 
a Blade Knight. I think this is actually worth a lot. Like, in terms of lowest price, I think the Blade Knight's actually worth, like, it was like $20 or something. I don't think people were actually paying it, but that was the lowest in Champion Pack 6. Back to 9. Oh my goodness. Guys. Come on. Galaxy Wizard. Okay, another super. Okay. Come on, Astral. Give us that luck, Astral Pack. Jalgen. Falling down is a super rare in here. That's a Dark Crisis card, isn't it? Okay, let's go into um, a Turbo 8. Let's open a few of these because it's a very tall stack. We've got a Lost Guardian. It's a classic card. Elephant of Disaster. We've got another one. Come on, Mustard Yellow. Give us some luck right here. Oh, Alligator Sword. Okay. Maybe not Gemini Imps. This is, the title of this video is going to be like the saddest tournament pack opening of all time or something. If we don't get anything, an, an Alligator Sword Dragon. Okay, I didn't know these were in here. That's actually really cool rares. Very cool rares. Okay, let's... Oh, we oh we messed it up. We only have one more of these. We have Astral Pack 6, too. Whoops, I got all the yellows confused. All right, we'll save the, tur the Turbo Pack 8 for later. Um, like, maybe over here. All right, let's go into Astral Pack 3. We've not opened this yet, so maybe this is the uh, the key. White Dragon Wyvern Buster? Okay. Okay, let's try another one. Oh, finally! The Hidden Packs have the Ultimate Rare. Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare. Finally, we got something. A Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare. They were hidden below the uh, Turbo Pack 6 or Turbo Pack 8. And there is the Astral Pack 6 Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare Ultimate Rare. Finally, we pulled something. Wow, that was a rough start, guys. All right, we got a little hope. Come on, guys. We're back. We got this. Okay, wow, that's a Spirit Lifter. That is a Spirit Lifter. But here's the thing. I'm pretty sure you can't weigh Ultimate Rares. There's another Manju. Um, so I'm, I'm, little, I'm still thinking maybe they try to weigh them and they miss the Ultimate Rare. Is that possible? It, it could be what happened. So if that's true, maybe we'll get some more Ultimate Rares. I don't know. That's just a theory. Maybe that, that's what happened. I've heard that about Ultimate Rares. I don't really know because I haven't really weighed anything in a long time other than my LOB First Edition packs. Um, what's going on here? Uh, don't know. Hopefully nothing sketchy. Uh, Might have just ripped a little weird, which is possible as well. Okay. Uh, Turbo Pack 5 just seems like a weird one to reseal, but, you know, people will do anything. Um, these are hard to open, though. I don't know if that's normal. I can't remember. I'd have to go back and watch my other video and see how hard or easy they were to open, because I had a sealed box, so... It's... Nope, it's good! Colossal Fighter Ultimate Rare! I, call, I knew it! I called this Ultimate Rare. Okay! We're back, guys. All of that doubt for, like, probably 20 minutes of the video. We <laughs> we finally got something. We've got a Colossal Fighter that turns out to be a pretty great card back in the day. I mean, that's a pretty cool card. Ultimate Rare. That is awesome. That is awesome. Okay, we are back. We are officially back. Okay, so my Ultimate Rare theory is still up there. Like, uh, maybe they couldn't weigh out the ult Drop the pack. Maybe we couldn't weigh out the Ultimates. We're going to find out. Maybe we'll get a, an actual, like, Super Rare at some point so we can debunk my theory but either way i mean the ultimate rares are what you want anyway most of the time a lot of the but a lot of the foils are pretty valuable so you do kind of want those as well you, i mean obviously you don't want them to be weighed i'm just saying it's nice to have at least ultimate rares if we do get something the problem with the champion packs though is there are no ultimate rares so if they were weighed they will easily weigh out i just opened two of those in a row didn't i should have done that all right a six still have an open to five maybe we'll go to one of those super electromagnetic voltaic dragon another sentinel of the sea Literally pulled like three of this guy. Okay, we'll open a five next time. Let's go into the OTS nine. Feeling a lot better about this. It was a rough start. Absolutely rough start. We got Thunder Dragon Matrix. Okay, nice super rare. Let's go number... Th We're pretty low on threes. We're actually pretty low on these beginning ones. So maybe I'll go, go ham on some of these ones with... <laughs> I got some in my throat. Um, on some of these ones that don't have... Or that have a ton of extra cards. Another Wall of Thorns. We got a bunch of them. So... Turbo Pack 5 being one of them. We just pulled a Colossal Fighter. That was really cool. That's the only Ultimate Rare. So we might pull a second one or something. That'd be cool. Let's go. This is going to be a long edit, guys. We are at 44 minutes on my end, which I know is not the same as yours. But yeah, <laughs> whenever these go really long, I'm like, oh, I got to edit all this tonight. 
Because since you do it every day, you know, it, uh, it'll it'll get, it'll catch up to you a little bit. Manju, very nice. And speaking of long edits, if you guys are still watching in this, as far as the video, you're a legend, first of all. Leave a comment down below if you're still watching at this point. But um, the special edition opening. Guys, I am still waiting on Dark Illusion, the special edition. If you have another one I, that I can buy from you and you can get it here, like, quick. Dark Red for Ultimate. I mean, Ultra Rare, sorry. Our first non-Ultimate Rare. Okay, that's awesome. Remember when we pulled this out of uh, Phantom Darkness first edition? That was insane. That's a good pull. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better now, guys. I'm feeling a lot better. But back to what I was saying, which was, what was what was I saying? Oh, Special Edition. If you have the Dark Illusion Special Edition, I think it's Europe only or uh, something like that. Um, and it has to be English. So if it's not German or anything, I know I've seen there's a few options like that. Hit me up and maybe we can get it like express shipped or something. Because the one I bought has literally been in transit for 17 or 18 days, I think. So I, it's literally the only one I need. So it's not even a good one. It's the Dark Illusion, which is like a cool set, but nothing insane. So I'm just sitting here waiting and waiting because of that torrential tribute. So I can't post the video. Can't even make the video, so that edit is gonna take forever whenever that happens because we're gonna be opening up like 60 or 70 special editions. Another wolf. Um, whenever it finally gets here, it's gonna be really cool. Okay, all right. Two ultimate rares and an ultra rare. Okay, so you can get, yeah, you can get ultra rares and turbo. What's the one? Is it, o no, it's OTS where you can't get ultra rares. All right, so turbo three and turbo five. And what was the other one? Astral? Those have all been pretty good to us. We got a DD Crow, they've actually given us something. Um, let's go into another turbo I'm trying to even these out so we can get down to uh, one of each again we got a Morphtronic cell phone that's a super rare yes another super very nice Morphtronic cell phone very nice let's go into another astral 3 this this is the one that gave us hope once again it gave us hope after uh, such a rough start summoners art we got the uh, royal command um, we, we still have too many uh, too many fives there's just so many of them Wow. All right, 46 minutes like this. I haven't recorded this long in a long time. Manju, there we go. And that We have a lot of Manju so far. This is crazy. Let's go to another Astral 3. Another super rare. We've got a Bujin Carnation. Curse Seal. Some of these are spoilers right off the bat, which is kind of a bummer. Guys, Just, just this is how many we've opened so far. Just, just throwing that out there. This is a lot of packs. Okay, yeah, this is just crazy how many tournament packs this is. Like... It's just nuts. It's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool to open these up. So once again, Cass, thank you. Thank you. Great content. Let them know in the comments, guys. Thank you so much for letting us be able to see this. Fortunately, there are actually pulls in here. We were worried at first, but uh, there are some stuff we can pull. We've only got two of those. Let's go Astral Pack 1. We've got a uh, Gen X Undyne. All right, very nice. Let's go into a Champion Pack 8. Here we go. Very nice. We've got a Necro Gardener for like the fifth time, or at least at least the fifth time. Another Turbo Pack 3, which gave us the Dark Greffer. No Ultimate Rare yet, though. What is it? Oh, yeah, Caius. Caius. Yeah, we want that. We've got a uh, Super Deep Sea. All right, Booster 5. A lot of Booster 5s, baby. Here we go. Puppet Plant. Okay. A lot of the 5s, they've given us one Ultimate Rare, which is pretty good. Now can they give us another Foil, which... Which one is Rescue Cat in? I think it's three. So we got the we got the Celephon. We really wanted the Rescue Cat. That is a much better pull. I remember we pulled one for Josh. He's still holding on to it. Um, he, he, he gives me the updated on it every once in a while what the value is. So Josh, go ahead and let us give us the Rescue Cat value. It'll pop up, but you know, let, let me know that you're uh, you're keeping track of it. Torrential tribute. Okay, we're, I'm gonna do a little consolidating here. So I can tell more what's going on. Okay, we're going to open a few more of these to get it closer. And then I think we're a lot closer to having even amounts of everything. And then when we have like one of everything, I'll stop at those and, you know, we'll save them for the end. Another wolf. Can we get a super? I can't remember what the supers are. I think there's like an X Saber in here that's a super. It's like X Saber. Uh, I can't remember the names. It's, um, ah, what is it? Zo another Zomo. We pulled a few of that guy. We pulled a few of the Zoma. Miracle Fusion. Oh, Cyber. Let's try Astro Pack 3. We still got a few of these left as well. We've got another White Dragon Wyvern Buster. There's a huge stack of supers because of all these guaranteed supers. Astral Pack 1. Oh, wow. 
The Gates of the Dark World. Super rare. All right, let's start going back from the beginning. I think we have two of these left. So OTS will be done until the final round where we go one of each. Um, but we have a Super Poly, another good Super Rare. Astral 3, they only had two left. So this is the second to last one. Come on. Rip. There we go. There we go. Some of them will not rip. We've got a Wall of Thorns. I haven't seen that guy yet. Astro Pack 1, still holding strong with a lot of copies. We get Insector Cinepy. We have not seen that one yet. Interesting. And a Hyena. Another Astral 3. So, uh, there's, it seems like there's a lot more of these because, you know, they were buried at the beginning, but we did get an Ultimate Rare out of them, which is pretty cool. Turbo Pack 7. We haven't opened this one in a while. So, let's see. We've got the, uh, the Tail Swipe. And the, another Herald. Very good. That's a good one. Back to our friend Turbo Pack 5. We have a lot of these. Still have a lot of these after opening like 30 or 40 of them, it feels like. Dark Neosphere, another Manju, yet another good common. Let's do another one just to uh, get it a little closer. You've got Shield Crush, another Manju, literally like three play sets by now. Turbo Pack 4 has yet to yield us anything. Let's see if it can now. So, so far, one Super, one Ultra, two Ultimates is our, is our pulls. We got a Moki Moki and a Key Mace. I'm pretty sure those are both good. And then, that's three normal monsters. And Turbo Pack 4. So, uh, pretty well, pretty far down the road, we're pulling three normal monsters. That's pretty funny. Kaiku and a Dark, what'd that say? Dark Eruption, okay. Turbo Pack 2. Back to the, uh, the two. What will it give us? Reflect Bounder. Oh, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. Okay, cool card. Champion Pack 8. We have still a ways to go, guys. This is a long, long video. Another Silent Magician level 4. Unbelievable. How many times will we pull that? Let's go into a 6. Let's try it out. Let's try the 6. A Blade Knight. Another Blade Knight. Okay. A pretty good rare, though, as I said earlier. Let's go into a 5. Our first time opening one of these. This has a lot of really good pulls. So, if we get a, a foil out of here, that's crazy. DD Crow. Rescue Cat. And a Dark Necrofear. That's, that's a pretty good uh, pack right there. Rescue Cat, last I checked, was like 30 bucks for the Flaming Eternity, Eternity version. I don't know if that's still the thing, but it was insane. Okay, Astro Pack 1. We're back around um, because the others only have one left. So Mass Change, pretty cool card. Uh, a lot of people hate that one. Let's go into a Astral 6, which gave us all the hope. So we're every Samurai. We got a Nobleman and a Curse Seal. Turbo Pack 7. We've got ourselves a tail swipe. Let's oh, let's flip these over. That's that doesn't look very good. All right, very nice. Uh, tail swipe. Uh, okay, not that nice, but it's a tail swipe. Okay, turbo seven. It's down to the last one, so it's getting low. We've got a dark Horus. We've got a Soroka. Black Wing Soroka. Turbo pack five. Come on, we need some good. We had like kind of a mini resurgence, and now we're back to kind of the duds. Manju, very nice. <laughs> Literally every time there's a Manju. Okay, that's crazy. Turbo Pack 4. But as I said, the ratios are rough, guys. So a combination of some possibly being weighed, plus the ratios are rough on the ones that are not weighed. You know, it's going to be tough. So, oh, another Turbo Pack 2. Okay. Interesting. We have a Cloak and Dagger. DD Crow. Man, there is a lot of DD Crows and Manjus in here. Like, this is nuts. Magician's Valkyria, not a bad card. I wouldn't be surprised if Valkyria is worth a couple bucks. We got a Champion Game 6. Game 6. I like how they call it Game 6. Another Helios. That's a decent one, as we've said uh, many times. All right. Five. Second time trying five. We got a pretty good pack last time with Rescue Cat and uh, DD Crow, I think. A lot of DD Crows. Hammer Shot. Amazon of the Sea is another valuable one. And Dark Ruler Hod does. So uh, Amazon of the Seas, I think, is another like 2 or $3 one. Back around the horn, we are back to Astral Pack 1. We have a Hidden Armory. We have a Thunder Ruler and Dragon Ice. Astral Pack 6, which they are a little bit out of order because those were, you know, under the other one. Shadal Beast, cool. And uh, Machina Fortress. Okay, Turbo Pack 5. We're actually getting low on these finally. There's only a few left. We have been through a lot of them. We have a wolf, another wolf, pulling so many. I mean, with these, there's only like four or five rares per set usually. So pulling multiples a lot is not like that weird, but um, it is crazy how many times we've seen them. Okay. Turbo Pack 3. We're getting down to the final round. A lot of these are at one pack left, which means we will do them all in a row. But Dark Eruption. Turbo Pack 2. 
And those champion pack three and four, we only have one to start with, which is why we have no <gasps> Oh, that's a big one! Chaos Sorcerer Ultra Rare! Oh, that's a big one! That's like $360, I think. Last I checked with my GOAT deck, which was just a couple weeks ago, it was $360-something dollars for one of these. Oh, baby, we hit a big one. That is the biggest hit of the video. All right, so here are only four hits of the opening, like only four, but oh my goodness, have they been good. That is a crazy good hit. That is big. Oh my goodness. That is an ultra rare Chaos Sorcerer, which is high rarity for GOAT format. That's why it's so expensive. That's a card I forgot was in there. Wow, that's a payoff. You guys made it this far into the video. That's a good payoff for you guys. Oh my goodness. Like if you watch the first 20 or 30 minutes, you're thinking... There is nothing in these packs. That's what I was thinking. I was like, man, we got straight up scammed here. Um, that is unfortunate. And guess what? I was wrong. Not all of these are, at least not all of these are scaled. Like some of them are definitely not. So we have a Elemental Hero Stratos. That's very good. That's a very good common. Two and number five. Maybe five can give us some luck now. Come on, champion packs. You're the last one to reward us, I think. Didi Crow and uh, another DD Crow. Okay, back around the horn, we are to number six. I think this is the second to last one of this one. So we are very close to being the final round. What a big pull, that Chaos Sorcerer. Do you have a Susan here? Is that worth something? Maybe it is. I don't know. We'll pull it out. Okay, we are on to number five, which has just a couple of packs left. It's not quite at the final pack, but it's getting there. Cyber, another Cyber Ella 10 or whatever that is. All right, can we get back-to-back -back Chaos Sorcerers? That'd be nice. What is the ultimate in this? I've definitely not opened this because I don't have any Chaos Sorcerers. That's a big pull. That is a big, big pull. We got a My Body and a Necro Valley. Not bad. Just three of these uh, champion packs left. We've got a Silent Magician level four. Okay, and we have two more of the five. So let's open this one. We have a Rescue Cat. Good. Double costing. And I spell Fragrance. Okay. Okay, back around and we have... Okay, two more two more Turbo Pack fives. So we're going to go ahead and open both of the... The, well, two extras, and then we'll leave the last one. Because I think everyone else nearly has one pack. Nearly every other one. <laughs> Another Manju. <laughs> Literally, we're, we're making our living on Manju here. This is crazy. Like, they have paid for a lot of packs so far. Escape from Dark Dimension. Okay, we have... Alright, champion pack, and then we are down to one of each pack, I believe. I believe. Let's flip this over. Yep, okay. This is the last one before the last of each. One more big hit would be great. I mean, we have not had great ratios for sure. The ratios have been rough. Maybe we can get a foil. <gasps> oh! <laughs> bit on a light sword summoner. Oh, speaking of big foils, that is the big foil. Oh, that's probably worth several hundred dollars. Oh my goodness. That one might be worth more than the cat sorcerer. It, it's, it's close. Lumina, super rare. Our first champion pack. Well, I couldn't get that pack open. I'm glad I took the time to, you know, make sure we didn't damage corners or anything. Wow. Five big bulls. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. But uh, those five are pretty, pretty big. Oh, my goodness. On to the final round. Can we get one more big pull from the last, you know, one of each pack, which is last 15 packs, which, I mean, I don't even know how many we've opened now. This is crazy. Let's start off. Well, I guess we're going to start with this turbo because it's over here. We've got Alligator Swore Dragon. All right. Okay. Not the craziest one. Some of these are not easy to open. We've got Alligator Swore Dragon. Pretty cool. Woo! This turned from a dud to a stud of an opening. That is 100%. I am now over an hour or two in my recording, um, which is absolutely nuts. So this will be at least a 30-minute video, I would think. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope your popcorn tasted good, you know, because we've had some absolute fire. Hopefully we didn't burn your popcorn. we got a Mermel Abyss Gun. Gundy or gun. I think it's a pretty good card. I don't know if it's worth much. Astral Pack 1. Wow, this is a sweet opening, guys. Terraforming Suit. Wait. It is guaranteed. But still, that's probably pretty good because it's Terraforming Super Rare. That's really good. Okay. Okay. Pretty nice. We haven't seen that one yet. Astral Pack 6. Final pack. Here we go. Booge Incarnation. Vanity's Fiend and Ceasefire. Okay. Turbo Pack 7. Come on. Give us that uh, Ally of Justice Catastore. Okay, maybe not. Lightning Warrior. Go, go, the Gallant Ninja. The last five. It did give us an ultimate rare. We can't complain about its performance. It was pretty, pretty good. Royal Command. We got a Puppet Plant. We pulled a lot of that guy. 
Turbo Pack 4. I like this green on this one. I'm a, I'm a fan. We did not pull anything good out of it, though. So let's see if we can uh, do that now. White Hole, Key Mace, and Psychic Commander. Okay, that's okay. Turbo 3. Come on, Rescue Cat. Rescue Cat's what we're hoping for right here. Come on, Cat. Show yourself! Oh, it's not there. Gladiator Beast, Red Chiari. All right. Turbo 2 gave us that Chaos Sorcerer. That, well, not me, but... Uh, Still pretty cool. I mean, amazing to pull that for Kaz, so... I'm glad that we finally got him something. <gasps> I, wait, is that a foil? It's a foil! Gravekeeper's Assailant! I didn't know this existed! You can barely tell. But I, I don't know how to show it. But look at the common versus this. Man, you can't even tell that's a foil. You'll be able to tell by the price. But that is insane. Oh, yes! That's so cool. Bling out your Gravekeeper's deck. I mean, you can like barely, barely tell that's a foil, but that's still really cool. We are on to the final five packs of this insanely long epic tournament pack opening and champion pack and tournament. Well, not really not tournament pack, but they are tournament packs. You know what I mean? Okay. Champion pack eight. Here we go. We already pulled Lumina. I don't know. I mean, the ultra rare, I don't know what the ultra rare is. Usually the ultras are not as good as the uh, foil of uh, the other foils, which is really weird. Shin and uh, Royal Impression. It's weird. They made the ultras not as good as the supers most of the time in champion pack. Okay, game six. Come on. Need some luck here. Another Helios. Okay, another Helios. We got an Amplifier and Dimension Wall. Number five. Come on. Come on. There's some big ones in here. There's some big ones. I can't remember exactly what they are. But they are. I know they're big. I think I think uh, um, Spirit Reaper might be in here. Or is that three? Three and five, I get confused. Double Costin. Amazon, another Amazon of the Seas. Nice. Final two. We never opened these the whole time because there was only one of each. So we're going to go with number four. This is the one I never pulled the, uh, was it, uh, Bottomless, I think it was in here. Bottomless Trap Hole. I think it was the one where we couldn't pull it. Wow, these are, yeah, I, oh, guys, you guys remember how shiny these are from the from the video? We can check that one out. It was crazy. They're super, like, slick and weird. It's very weird. Grand Tiki Elder. And a Confiscation. Look how OC that is. That's that's it's so weird. They're grimy. I don't like it. It's, it feels gross. Okay, it's just on that set too. It's very strange. Game three. This this has Gravekeeper Spy. I think it's the biggest one. It has some other crazy ones. Oh, okay. Gold right off the bat. It ruined it. Fairy Dragon. That's actually worth a few dollars. Some of these weird normals are worth something. Okay, so we opened an absolute ton of packs. Those ratios are rough, but we pulled some absolute fire. I'm gonna just show you guys the main hits because there's a huge stack of like com like decent commons and rares and stuff. But we pulled the Grape Keepers of Salem Super. You can barely tell. Lumina. Huge. Chaos Sorcerer. Huge. Trap Trick, Trap Hole Nightmare, Colossal Fighter, and Dark Gref are just a awesome six cards. Like, all these are absolutely amazing. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank Kaz in the comments for this epic opening. Super long video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to be up late editing this one. So, uh, yeah, just uh, send me a prayer real quick that I make it I make it, and uh, don't die. Don't forget to check out Whatnot for the Feral Servant 60-pack first edition opening. 24 and 36-pack booster box is going to be crazy. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!